Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. <laughs> I know you've been wondering where I've been. <laughs> oh, oh we, we had to go fly it Sunday. And I got the 007 spy cam out. We had a good time. Except we didn't get enough flying in. A couple guys, jets didn't run. and. I had a good time though. I got some flying in. And uh, got the shop all cleaned out. And I want you guys to see this. Over there, look at all this. All neat and organized. Somewhat clean. <laughs> For me, it's clean. But uh, I'm ready to get back on the Thunder Chief now. I had to work on the F 16 a couple days. I just, I just went all the way through it and then got back Sunday. I didn't hurt it, nothing was wrong with it. I just wanted to go through it and uh, check the elevator linkages, all that stuff, man. I pretty much gutted it and uh, went all through it and put it back together and tucked it away and it's ready to roll. It's ready to roll again. Oh, hold on. I'm going to move you over here. All right, guys. And I've been thinking about what to do here, talking to Butch, talking to Sharp Pencil, and uh, getting this all figured out. You know, the question was, do we, you know, I wasn't planning on ever cutting this, you know, but I, I could make a parting plane real easy and make these panels separate. But the only issue with that, you know, because I was kind of wanting to glue these into plane, and make these separate. But the only issue with that is the dang flat. Okay, if I cut that straight down there, or put me a parting plate, you know, that flap's going to be in two pieces. And, uh, you know, then we got hinge issues, you know, when you swing off, uh, you split it, you know what I mean? And we just, uh, I don't want to cut the flap and so this is what I decided to do. I'm going to make these wings as one piece. And they're going to attach. And it's going to work kind of like the real one does, okay? See, this ducting will come straight out, like so. And then the wing will just go on there. And that ducting will stay. And there'll be a, a pocket, and it'll just slide in there. and. And uh, it'll it so it can actually stay, you know. I'll just make it snug up in there, and Butch is gonna cut it on a CNC so it'll fit perfect, you know. I can also use come right down to it. I could use this piece, okay. All I'd have to do is uh, where I can see this, do some cutting, you know. And uh, I could get the exact shape I needed, but but uh, just gonna cut me one, so I'm worried about it. So that's my plan. I'm gonna leave that wing in one piece, make it as one piece, and it'll slide in the fuselage. See now, I want to turn that into a real nice, neat pocket. Okay, and. Uh, question is how do I do that you know if I just start laying glass in there that's gonna be rough man lots of sand and lots of filling I don't want to go there we got to make this quick and easy so that's what I decided to do I'm gonna do I'm getting ready to do this now I'm gonna wax up that piece of melamine right there and spray me a little mold release on it lay me up like three layers of that 10 ounce on that, and then I'll have me some nice flat glass to work with. Then I could just uh, put this on there, you know, trace it, and make me a nice glove, man. It just fits over that just perfect. And then I can glue them in them holes on there on my fuselage. Once they, once they, well, some glass on there, lay it up, let it dry, let it cure out. 
And I can come in here and make my pieces, you know, cut that out. Uh, go around the sides, glue it all together on that plug. And then just that whole thing, that whole glove should just slide right in there. Might have to do a little sanding, but I'll, it'll be thin. You know, and then very little sanding. I was even thinking about sanding and filling that piece of glass on there. I don't have enough peel ply. I'm going to have to order some peel ply, but I don't have no peel ply to put on there. So uh, I'll just hit it with my DA after it sets up and uh, fill it, put a coat of primer on it while it's still on that board. That way when I pull it off, I can put all my primer on the inside. And once I get it installed there, once I get it installed back in that fuselage, bam, that dude is nice and smooth, you know? And uh, no body work. All I have to do is, a little, you know, my filling around the sides, give it all trim, good sand it, bam, nice pockets. Okay? Then, I'm going to, I'm going to do a little more detailing this week to that plug. Uh, I got some stuff to do to it before we put the panel lines on it. I want to get it as detailed as we can. I need, still need to do a little filling. I've been looking at it. These canopy lines right here don't seem to be real straight. So I'm going to work with them. It looks like he's kind of ducky in. These will work there. I got to put on the bottom, there's kind of a dorsal fin thing down there in the back where they had the to put a resting hook. I don't know, I believe that's what it's for. And uh, do some other things this week and get it ready for some panel lines. And uh, basically, them are ready. Just got a little bit of sanding and on that seam. But I'm gonna get jamming this week, people. Here it is already Wednesday, and I got some work to do by the weekend. But I had to get that flying out. Of the a couple of days off. So that's what we're going to do with the wings, okay? I think that'd be better. They'll come all the way off to where, you know, that's just a round fuselage like that. You know, and then after I get this all ready to where I want it, no, nice and smooth, the way I want it. Just when I think it's done, I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here and make a hatch for my radio. I'm going to mold it separate until we'll have a nice molded hatch here. Back here, I'm going to put one in there for the engine. So we'll have a nice molded hatch for the engine back there. And then around the, I'm going to go ahead and cut them off so I can mold them separate. You know, and they'll have a really nice flange on the bottom. Okay, then the gear doors and servo pockets for the wings down there. I will uh, do my little trick to show you how, remember how we did that on the B1, molded them stuff into fuselage after the fact? I'm going to do that with the wings. So the gear doors will have that molded edge to fit on, you know, that lip. That, all, that works really nice. Simple to do. But... That's the plan. This video is all talk, no work, but I'm fixing to get back on it. I'm going to cut me some glass. I still never found my big scissors. You know where I think they are? I think the Bobo wife came and got them. <laughs> She's been known to do stuff like that. I'll go ahead and look in them kitchen drawers and there they'll be. <laughs> I'm missing big old scissors and they are not out here. I just cleaned that whole shop. But I'll bet y'all a cup of coffee I know where they're at. <laughs> so, uh, oh, this video is about over, people. Well, I'm going to make some more videos today. we get back on this Thunder Chief. So, tune back in to Bob TV. Same Bob time. Same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is the Drama Free Zone.